go. Jumbo, everybody, how are you guys doing today? Good, all right. Well, my name is Emily. I'm going to be your game driver over the next wonderful two week photo safari. It is photo safari, everybody. So if you are taking pictures, be sure to hold on tight to those cameras as we cannot stop in the reserve for anything that might fall over, no matter how pretty, precious, or expensive it was. How many of you is this your first safari ever? Woohoo! A couple of you. Welcome, guys. For those of you coming back, welcome back. It's always nice to have smiling and friendly faces looking at me in the mirror up here. <laughs> or those. Those are fun, too. Now, as some of you may know, we're established here in 1971 to help protect some of the local wildlife out here. Over the years, animals have gotten pretty used to these trucks, which is great for us. That way we can get up close and personal with them, get some pretty good photos. But it's also bad because poachers tend to get on the reserve and try to hunt. Now, everybody knows what a poacher is, yes? Yes, big guys with guns. Yeah, we don't like them very much. So we do have wardens patrol in the area 24-7. Let's see if we can get our airborne warden in here real quick. Airborne patrol, this is symbol one. You up there? Airborne warned to symbol one. All right, folks, it doesn't look like we are in radio range right now, but that's okay. We'll get a hold of him later. All right, now we are entering the forest, the literary forest right now, here on the reserve. And just keep your eyes open. You never know what you can see out here, like over on the left-hand side. Right over here, there's a couple of different things. The first one, that cinnamon color guy back there laying down, that is a bongo known as the ghost of the forest because they are so rarely sane. Then the next one's over. It looks like there's a female and a young male right over here. Those are greater kudus. They look like giant deer, but they are part of the antelope family. They're the second largest antelope out here in Africa. Now over on the right hand side, if you guys look over there, there is an okapi standing up there. Okapis are the only known relatives to, does anybody know? Zebras! No, it's not the zebra. It's actually the giraffe, but good try. A lot of people say the zebra because of those stripes on its back legs, but that is just not true. It's giraffe. It's because of two. And look at this, folks. It looks like we are coming up on a watering hole right over here to the left hand side. Now, watering holes are a great place to see some of the rarer species, like that black rhino walking around. Let's go take a good look at him. Now, black rhinos are endangered. There's only about 4,200 of them left. Does anybody know who their enemy is? Poachers. Yes, they are hunted by poachers for the horns on top of their nose there. Even out here on the reserve, they're not entirely safe. That's why we have wardens patrol in the area, like I said, 24-7. Let's keep on going here, see what else we can find. Now, if you guys look right above your heads here, there is a game spotting guy. Those are some of the animals that we might see over the next two weeks. We don't see all of them, but we do get pretty lucky around here. Now, if you folks are taking photos, you might want to have your cameras on a fast action or sport mode because we're moving around out here. The animals are certainly moving around. And you never know, guys, a great picture of a giraffe might turn into a great picture of a tree. Before. All right, looks like the forest is going to be pretty quiet, so we're going to make our way over to Safi River. Hold on tight for me, folks. It's a little bit bumpy right here. All right, here we go. Now, Safi River is a great place to see hippos. You guys like hippos? No? I can keep going. We'll just pass on the hippos. Pass on the hippos, yes? No! Alright. We're gonna come right up here and... Now hippos love to stay in the water most of the day, help keep cool from that hot sun, but they resurface every five to eight minutes. So maybe we'll get to see something pop up. Maybe we'll get to see some vultures. Or some cranes. Hey guys, well, we'll keep on going here, see if we can find. Oh yeah, look, it's a pretty long river, and I think there's some more hippos right up here. Come around, watch the fight. Right behind this island of pink pack pelicans. Now these pelicans live in colonies such as this one. They're really great with teamwork as well. Some of them will herd fish to the shallower waters, where a couple other of the pelicans will be waiting. 
to gather all those fish and crustaceans up in their gulls and they throw them out on the land that way everybody gets a little something to eat oh how cute they're fighting over that stick and look at this it looks like we found those hippos right over here folks now hippos are one of the largest animals at birth, they weigh about 85 pounds, and an adult male hippo can tip the scales at about 5,000 pounds each. <laughs> they usually come out at night to feed. They eat about 150 pounds of grass every single night. That is a lot of grass, folks. All right, let's keep on going here. Now, just as a reminder, I want everybody to remain seated for me. You guys are doing a great job so far. Just want to give you a heads up there. Especially coming over this rickety old bridge up here, it looks like this. Man. Alright, it's safe. Let's see if luck will hold out for us too. Everybody just hold on tight for me. Don't want anybody falling out into this water down here. Doesn't look the cleanest. Rickety than I remembered. Everybody just hold on. There we go. We're gonna get out of here right about now. Simba one, come in. Hey, this is Simba one. What's going on up there, Wilson? Just wanted to let you know that my ground patrol has seen a lot of elephant activity near the red clay pit. Oh, cool. You definitely want to check out that area. Awesome, Wilson. We will be sure to go over there. Everybody, that was Wilson Matua, our airborne patrol who I was trying to call earlier. He must have seen us coming over that bridge. Wanted to tell us about those elephants. We'll get to them later. Right now we're going to be entering a different part of the reserve. And speaking of different everybody, check out this baobab tree right over here on the range. Also known as an upside down tree because it looks like its roots are sticking up clear in the air there. That's actually its branches. It goes leafless for about nine months out of the year, and that large trunk helps it store water through the long drought periods. Alrighty, folks, get ready. This is one of my favorite views in the entire reserve. The outlook on the Serengeti grasslands. Isn't it pretty? Home to millions of migrating animals every single year, and a more permanent home to ones such as lions, elephants, and giraffes. Just part of the wild Africa we are trying to conserve out here in Harambe. We're going to take the scenic route back here. See if there's anything hiding in these little nooks and crannies. They love to do that. This van back up here. bit too slow for me anyway. Well, if you notice around here, folks, these tall stone structures are termite mounds. And with saliva and sun, these termite mounds can get as hard as concrete. Elephants like to use them as a scratching post, help get those hard to reach places. And if you guys look back there, out on the left on that hill, a couple of sable antelopes out there. The emblem of the Harambe Reserve. And then right over here, it looks like there is a trio of Angoli cattle, or Watusi cattle. Those horns can get about six feet from tip to tip. They're also hollow. Act as a cooling system for the cattle. Help cool them off. And then this lonely guy right over here is one of my absolute favorites. This is a water buck. They have this long, shaggy, waterproof coat. Helps them escape from predators. How's it going, buddy? Now, they don't smell the best. Sorry, it's true. They let out this oily secretion when their fur mixes with the water. Helps them escape from the predators. Because let's face it, folks, if it doesn't smell good, you're probably not going to eat it, right? All right.
And coming up here is going to be up on the right hand side. The ones walking toward us, those are Patterson Islands, the largest antelope in Africa. They stand about six feet at the shoulders and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds each. Now, if you notice the little teeny guys that are lying around, those are Thompson Gazelle or Tommies, as they're more commonly known as. That is their full grown size. They only get about 60 pounds each, and they are the second fastest animal out here on the savannah. Now, the ones walking around on that hill up there, those are white bearded wildebeest, also known as the new. That's the sound that they make. New. They have one of the largest migration patterns. About 1.5 million of them will travel together across East Africa every single year. Now, it looks like we have a few visitors right up here coming up on the left hand side. Let's get a little closer look. These are reticulated giraffes, everybody. Now, reticulated giraffes get their name from the Latin word reticulata, which means net. It refers to the netting pattern they have on their coats. No two giraffes are exactly alike, kind of like a human's fingerprint. There's a baby out there as well. Hello. Now when baby giraffes are born, they're actually already six feet tall. And as they reach adulthood, they become anywhere from 18 to 20 feet tall. Oh, hey, Wilson, we are heading up to Monkey Point. Why? Keep your eyes open for me. We picked up a baby elephant that was wandering off on its own. Uh -oh. We can't find the mother. I'm afraid poachers may be in the reserve. Poachers, all right, Wilson, we will definitely keep our eyes open for you. That would not be good, folks, to have poachers on the reserve. Keep our eyes open for Wilson. And keep your eyes open for an African elephant. Right over there, folks, on the right-hand side. You see that? And then right over here on the left, this is why we call it Monkey Point, there's mandrel monkeys. Right up here, they love to play on these cliffs. Well, if you have an itch, you gotta scratch it, right? <laughs> now, mandrel monkeys are the largest monkey. They weigh about 100 pounds each. And they are really famous for their red and blue markings on their face and backside. Now that does not look like the mama elephant that we're looking for. That one's male up for them. I can tell because he's all alone. Usually the males are loners. They tend to wander off by themselves away from the herds. Let's go see if we can find the rest of that herd Wilson was talking about. Listen to some music too. Tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and just turn this off. I don't understand what they're saying. Let's see if I can cross this bridge over here. It doesn't look too safe with all this cable, but we'll try our luck. Made it across the first one. Maybe our luck will hold out. Ooh. Oh, drop down. All right, almost there. Almost there. There we are. I've had a kuna matama, right, folks? No worries. Break check. Look at that, zebras. Oh, all right, we'll go. Keep going. Check out those elephants. Hey, look at this. We made it to those red clay boots that Wilson was talking about. Oh, yeah, I can tell some elephants have been through here. Check out those test marks over there on the side of the wall. Elephants love to eat this red clay. It gives them a mineral they don't usually get in their natural diets. And it looks like we found the rest of the herd right over here, folks. Let's see if we can get a little better view. There's a tree in the way now. There's some more up here. Now here in Harambe, there's actually researchers who are studying the vocal communication between the elephants. It's for us to better understand how they survive and what we can do to help them out here in the wild. Trees out here. It's kind of hard to see back there. Tell you what, I thought I saw a couple up here by this watering hole, so we'll keep on going. Elephants actually have the second longest childhood of all animals. Does anybody know who has the first? Us, we do, yes. And speaking of childhoods, look at the baby elephant right over here, folks. 
They rely on their moms for about 13 to 15 years, learning important things like where to find food and water, and of course, all of those important pachyderm social skills. Does anybody know how much a baby elephant weighs when it's born? No one? Take yes. 300 pounds. That is a lot of elephant, folks. Alright, everybody, look at this. It looks like there's some greater flamingos right around the corner here. Now, greater flamingos are the lightest colored of all the flamingo species. They hatch a dusty gray color and won't turn the pink colorization until they eat the carotene and the brine shrimp that's in their diet. My favorite view right there, folks, isn't it pretty? Except with the truck. All right, let's keep going here. Let's head on over into Rhino Country. You guys like rhinos? Sure. You guys awake? Yeah. Maybe. All right, let's see what we got out here. Oh, look at this. A couple of bots bot flying around. Right over here on the left-hand side. A little antelope. Now, bots bot are... Extinct in the wild, you can only find them on reserves such as around Bay Well, let's go around the corner here and see if we can get a little better view. Oh, there's some attics back there in that corner. Are you going to see them? Ooh, some ostrich eggs down on the ground there. All right, Bob, Bob, where are you at? <laughs> there they are. Cute little guys. Oh, I know what I'm going to show you guys. Go right around the corner here. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see them, but up on that hilltop there, there's a couple of cheetahs. Do you see them laying up there? I'll scoot up a little bit for you guys. Now, cheetahs are the fastest land animal. They run about 60 to 80 miles an hour. Bless you. A lot faster than my truck, so we're not going to linger here too long. They do their hunting during the daytime because they rely on their eyesight more than any other sense. All right, this is what I wanted to show you guys right up here, Kopi Rock. Now, Kopi Rock is a great place to see lions, and I think I see one just lying around right down here on this patch of grass underneath all those rocks. You can just see her ears sticking up there. It's a female lioness. Now maybe we can see some more around the corner here. Let's keep on going. Now lions are one of the laziest animals. They're inactive for about 20 hours out of the day. Then they go out at night to hunt. It's usually the female lion, lioness that goes out and does all the hunting for the pride. Now right back there, folks, are the small herd of addicts. Right back there again. Now they are an endangered desert antelope and can almost entirely survive without drinking any water. And let's see if there's any more lions taking a snooze right up here. A little cat nap. Maybe not. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's keep on going because I see a warthog running around right up here. Coming up over on the left hand side. Right back there. Now, warthogs are the largest burrowing animal. They use those tusks to dig out all these holes that you see. Then they back end rear end first. That way, their horns protrude. Nobody can come in and grab them while they're sleeping. Cute, cute. Oh, look at that. Little piglets. Do you see him? She's going over towards them. Looks like she's keeping a lookout while they're taking a little something to eat. Alright, looks like there's some ostrich over here. Look at this, folks. 
And a couple of scimitar and torn orcs back there in the corner. Looks like the ostrich do not like them. <laughs> Poachers, oh no, folks, what do you say? Do you want to help me catch these poachers? Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Was that a yes, right? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys said yes. It'd be kind of awkward if you said no. All right, folks, look at this. It looks like they decided to go off the reserve without us. Everybody just hold on tight. It looks a little unsafe. See right there on the sign that says unsafe. <laughs> Everybody hold on. Yeah, it's good. Okay, here we go. The push is not heading east. Roger Wilson, we will head them out your way. Oh my goodness, folks. Look at these geysers out here. I was not expecting these. Everybody just hold on tight for me. It might get a little wet. Just get around the Whoa! Hold on, guys, we're getting out of here. Is everybody okay back there? Alright, sounds like they're getting away. Uh-oh. Look at this, it's their camp right up here. Oh, I think oh, no, we must have scared them off. It looks deserted. Wilson, what is going on? Oh, not to worry. You dropped them right into my patrol. Ah, oh, that's great, Wilson. Glad to hear it. Did you guys catch them? The first of friends, but they will get robbed. It's okay that the man had a Oh, no problem, Wilson. We were glad to help you out. I have to go now. We have to get this baby elephant back to its mother. Alrighty, 10 4 sounds good. Well, Asante Sana, folks, thank you so much for helping us catch those poachers and returning those little elephants back to its mom. Unfortunately, we did get off the reserve. Looks like we're going to have to cut our two week safari short by about 13 days. Sorry about that, guys. But you know what? Lucky you. I think there's a shortcut right up here to your post. I think some of you might have left a little bit of luggage back there. So just hold on for me. We're going to take a shortcut right back here. Jumbo. Yeah. 